introduction to ones and tens hello friends i am the parrot welcome to this lesson come let's see what you will learn in this lesson what are ones and tens and how to write numbers in the form of ones and tens chotu and his mother went to the market today to get vegetables on returning home chotu's mother kept all vegetables except onions in the fridge all onions are kept on the table mummy you asked the vegetable vendor to give 1 kg onions How many onions did you get? Can you count and tell me how many onions did we buy? Yes, mummy, I will tell you now. Wait. Count the number of onions by making a bundle of 10 each. For this, first make one bundle of 10 onions. Okay, mummy. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 8 9 and 10 take this mother this is a bundle of 10 onions very good chotu now how many more onions are there there is one more onion mummy so this is one bundle of 10 onions which has 10 onions and this is one more onion so in total how many onions do we have chotu 10 and 1 That means we have eleven onions, isn't it, Mummy? Yes, sure do. Do you know that how else can we write eleven? No, Mummy. How do we write it? Come on, let me explain it to you. When we make a group of ten things, then this group is called tens, and the open things are called ones. So by that, we mean ten means a group of ten, and ones means one. That is open things. And when there are ten ones, then they make one tens. Okay, Chotu, tell me something. Can nine onions together make one tens? No, Mummy. For this, we will need one more onion. This will be nine ones. Absolutely right, Chotu. This means that ten onions or ten balls, all those things present in a group of ten, makes tens because they are in a group of ten. But four, eight, and nine things which are less than ten, they are ones, and we count them individually. Have you understood? Yes, Mummy. So now, can you tell me how many tens and ones are there in eleven onions? There would be one tens and one ones in eleven onions, isn't it, Mummy? Yes, Chotu. You are absolutely right. So, children, do you know that when we write numbers in ones and tens, then we call them as place value of the numbers? For example, if I have fifteen balls with me, then in this fifteen, the place value of five is five ones. Which means five balls, and the place value of one is ten, which means ten balls. So the total is fifteen balls. So children, that's all for today. In this video, we learned what are tens and ones, and how to write numbers in the form of tens and ones. In the next video. We will look at some more interesting examples of tens and ones. Till then, my friends. Interesting examples of ones and tens, part one. So, children, in the previous video, you learned what are ones and tens. and how to write numbers in the form of ones and tens 
In this video, we will look at some more interesting examples of writing numbers in the form of ones and tens. Today is a school holiday and Pinky has come to her mother's stationery shop. New goods have come to the shop today. Look children, there are so many pencils, pens, sharpeners and erasers. Pinky, whatever new stuff has come, can you please count and tell me the number of all the things? Here each packet will have 10 things and other items would be kept open in the box. Okay, mom. Pinky counts the number of pencils first. These are 10 pencils. Then she counts the number of pens. 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. These are 14 pens. Children, you two are counting the number of all these things with Pinky, aren't you? After pens, she counts the number of sharpeners. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. These are 17 sharpeners. And in the end, she counts the number of erasers. 10 and 10. These are 20 erasers. Very good, Pinky. Thank you. Come on, children. Let us now write these numbers in the form of tens and ones. First of all, let's look at the number of pencils, which is 10. This means it has one tens and zero ones. Now let's look at the number of pens, which is 14. Now can you tell me how many tens and ones are there in it? Come on, let's see. This is one bundle of 10 pens and 4 more pens. That means it has 1 tens and 4 ones. Your answer was the same, right? Good! Come on now, let's look at the number of sharpeners which is 17. If we make 1 bundle of 10 in this, then 7 more sharpeners remain, which means it has 1 tens and seven ones. Now in the end, let's look at the number of erasers, which is 20. Can you tell me how many ones and tens are there in this? This is a bundle of 10 and there are 10 more erasers left. That means there is another bundle of 10. We have two bundles of 10. Therefore, 20 has two tens and zero ones. Have you understood? That was all for today. In this video, we wrote numbers in the form of 1 and 10. In the next video, we will look at some more interesting examples and will learn about some common mistakes which should not be done. Till then, bye friends. Interesting examples of ones and tens, part 2. So children, in the last video, you wrote numbers in the form of ones and tens. In this video, we will look at more some interesting examples and will learn about some common mistakes that we should not do. Choto and Aarti are studying together at Choto's home. They have studied about 1s and 10s yesterday at school. Just then, Aarti happens to look at the toys kept in Chotu's cupboard. Oh wow! You have so many colorful toys! How many toys would these be, Chotu? Thank you, Aarti. Come, let's play a game where I will only tell you how many 1s and 10s are there in the number of objects. And you will have to tell that number, okay? Okay, Chotu. There are 1 tens and 0 ones in the number of toys. This is wrong, Chotu. 1 tens and 0 ones means you have just one toy. But there are many toys in the cupboard. No, Aarti. It doesn't mean one. 
One tens means a bundle of ten. That means I have ten toys. Did you understand? Oh yes. So children, that means one ten and zero ones make ten. Come on, now I will tell you the number of colorful pens I have. There are one tens and five ones in the number of pens. So you have one and five. That is only six pens. No, Aarti, you added one and five, which is wrong. One tens means ten pens, and five ones means five pens. That means I have ten and five, fifteen pens. Did you understand? Oh yes, Chotu. This means that one tens and five ones make fifteen. You have understood the topic of tens and ones quite well. Children, have you also understood this topic properly? Come on, let's see. These are some toffees. There are one tens and six ones in their number. Can you tell me how many toffees are there in all? One tens means ten toffees, and six ones means six toffees. Which means these are sixteen toffees. Your answer was also the same, right? Very good. Come on, let's look at another similar example. Here are some flowers. There are one tens and two ones in their number. Can you tell me how many flowers are these? One tens means ten flowers, and two ones means two flowers. Ten and two, which means these are twelve flowers. That's all for today. In this video, we learn to write numbers in the form of ten and ones. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye, friends.